Hey guys, so uh, I wanted to check out CM1213 here for the Nexus 6P. Uh, I have just flashed this on and I wanted to check it out here uh, to see uh, how it looks on the device. And as you can see, uh, it's coming with uh, quite close convention to the Android Marshmallow. Uh, you can see it's uh, not straying too far away from that. Uh, you're getting the same kind of animations here when you open up stuff which is quite nice uh, the multitasking is quite similar as well uh, however it does give you I think some nice uh, customization options here uh, such as the themes obviously you can see I have downloaded Galaxy S6 theme so you can just quickly put this on and have a look at this So, you know, uh, stock uh, Android fans may want to cover their eyes here, but this is, you know, a Galaxy S6 uh, theme here for the Nexus 6P, and it's quite uh, faithful in some respects. You can see it's coming uh, with quite, uh, you know, a nice replica here of TouchWiz. Uh, so, I'm going to disable that though now and go back to. Uh, what we were on before because just uh, I think I prefer the stock uh, CM kind of build here so if we just select all these again you do get a few of these little crashes here and there but generally it seems to be quite uh, stable really uh, so if we have a look at the actual build information, you can see this is uh, build 13 uh, for Knightly Angler uh, with the Cyanogen Mod uh, Dragon Fruit level, which is quite nice. Android Security Patch level uh, is November. Uh, you can see we get an updater here as well, so if there is any updates, it should come nice and quick. Uh, if we have a look in the settings can see as well the display uh, there's quite a few different things in here such as ambient display so that's still supported and it should come on in a moment but we never know when it will come on but it is supported you can trust me she doesn't want to come on at the moment which is weird I have set up the fingerprint sensor though, and that works as it should, as you can see. Nice and seamless. Uh, I think you can change the the uh, density of the the display as well. So if you want it a little bit more dense, then you can do that. Try and get it up to the Z5 Premium. Uh, we can have a look at the wallpapers here. I think there, there isn't too many. Uh, different ones you can see we get the stock nexus ones as well as the old ones and also just the themes area as well so not too many different things there you do get obviously all your nice CM apps such as audio effects which is pretty cool and file manager and also the music minimalistic music kind of player here which is cool and I think the uh, the multi-user works as intended again a little crash there but it seems to be very uh, you know here and there and I've been checking out as well the uh, camera as well that's another important thing uh, to see how it is and I think it's quite stable here so you can see still nice and fast and you switch to the right and you get access to your video and I 
think the uh, the video recording is still able to be 4K as well. You don't lose that ability, which is good. So we can put that on there. And that's saved as it should do. So camera seems to be fine, which is good. Don't like uh, issues coming up there. Uh, in terms of the performance, I've, I've done an Antutu with it already, and you can see the score here. Uh, 49,574 which seems to be quite decent I think it's better than what it got before when it was on the uh, the stock ROM but uh, you know this, these things can fluctuate at the end of the day is 64 bit mode as well uh, so I think uh, this is quite an interesting uh, ROM here for those who are a bit bored of you know the same old same old with stock Android uh, you can see we can edit tiles here and add uh, different ones so move them around a little bit and I think uh, also you get changeability of the buttons as well like the layout so you can see you can add search button down there which is quite nice uh, so yeah, I think uh, pretty nice ROM here for the 6P. Uh, I will leave a link in the description if you want to get it on, give it a try. Obviously, it's very easy to go back to stock because it's just you know it's a, a Google device here. Uh, but yeah, hope you uh, enjoyed the video, found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.